Today on Six Sister Stuff, I am making the best air fryer salmon. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and I love sharing simple, easy recipes so you guys can get dinner onto the table. So a few weeks ago, I caught my very first fish. I was slightly excited about it. So my husband and I went up to Alaska. We caught all kinds of things like halibut, salmon. We caught some shrimp and we also caught some other creatures that we had to let back into the ocean. So we brought home some delicious fish and I thought it would be fun to cook up some salmon in the air fryer for you to show you how good it really is. All right guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. First we're just gonna take the salmon out I like to put it onto a cutting board and we're gonna let it rest there for just a few minutes. Okay, while it's sitting here, we're actually gonna pull it to the side and we're going to make the yummy apricot sauce. So the first ingredient you're gonna use is apricot jam. I am very lucky because my mother-in-law makes delicious homemade one, but if you don't have homemade, you can just use store-bought. So we're gonna add about a fourth cup of the jam into your bowl. Next up is the soy sauce. So you just need one tablespoon of soy sauce. Next is ginger. I love buying the tube of ginger because it lasts a lot longer. So we just need two teaspoons of ginger here. And this stuff is pretty strong, so we're not gonna do exactly two, but close enough. Then just one teaspoon or so of garlic. Now the last ingredient, it's supposed to be honey mustard, but I forgot honey mustard. So we're just gonna do honey because I love homemade honey. This is actually from our farmer's market. So we need about one and a half tablespoons of honey mustard, but it will still work with just plain honey. Then just mix it all together. All right, and our salmon's been sitting out for a little bit. So we're actually just gonna press all the water out because we don't want any extra liquid in our salmon. All right, oh, it's looking so good. Now in cooking salmon, it's best to just have this open. You don't wanna put foil down or anything. The problem is, is that I have skin on the back of my salmon, and so we're gonna spray some olive oil just so it won't stick to the bottom of this because cleaning skin is the worst off your air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and put our salmon down. We're gonna put half the apricot glaze into a different bowl for later. With the rest of the glaze, we're going to gently just put it on. It is gonna be so good. All right, go ahead and put your air fryer in. Gonna push the power button. We wanna stay at 350 and we're actually only gonna cook it 15 minutes. So go ahead and push power. Okay, so we have about a minute left, but I just wanna check just to make sure we're doing okay. So you want the internal temperature to be about 145. Oh, and we're way above it. We are like in the 60s. Okay, guys, we've cooked it way too long. So I would say go about 13 minutes and check. This is also some thin salmon. Okay, we're just gonna let this rest for about a minute or two while I hurry and get everything ready. All right, we wanna pull this out because we don't want it to cook anymore because the salmon will actually continue to cook as it sits. So we wanna pull it out of the heat. All right, and then I wanna take a little bit more of this bread. Don't worry, I washed this and I used the other bowl. I love the apricot stuff on top. So we're just gonna add a little bit more and just let it, yeah, soak in. Now you can eat it just like that, just plain, but I wanna show you my most favorite way to eat it. All right, so I have my Ritz cracker. I have some whipped cream cheese, so I'm gonna put the cream cheese right on the cracker. Mm. And then you just put the salmon on top, there we go. You guys, this is my favorite. Hmm. Highly, highly recommend. All right guys, hopefully this recipe was helpful for you. If you want more air fryer recipes, you can find them just right up there. All right guys, I'll see you next time, bye.